Hello everyone and welcome to my first ever HMS Victory live stream. So uh, like I say, normally I'd be typing hello to everybody, use comments who were uh, while I'm waiting for the stream to start, but I've kind of pushed my keyboard out of the way and I didn't want to knock anything, obviously uh, saying why I've set up all the cameras. So if you can notice, I've got this forward facing camera on today. I've, I've set it up slightly different as normally I have the camera kind of looking this way. And I've done that for the sole purpose, it's mostly today's build, there'll be a lot of painting Obviously, I've got plans to do. Obviously, paint these uh, these little um, beakers that I've already started to cut down. So, if you, if you watched last week's, uh, sorry, you watched yesterday's video, you kind of like you've seen me already working on these beakers and finish off the roundhouse. If you didn't watch yesterday's video, you can kind of still watch today's, but then probably go back and watch uh, yesterday's video as well. Yeah, so I put this forward-facing camera on. It's just main reason. It's just you get a lot. You just get a lot closer detail when I'm kind of painting. Because you, when you're kind of looking from behind, you never can get quite close up. So I've got me uh, the Doctor Will See You Now gloves on. So yeah, so my plan is today is, I'll put you back on forward facing. Yeah, so the plan is today, I'm going to paint these first. And then in between all the beak heads, we've got some uh, little doors. I'm going to put you back onto this uh, picture and picture cam. Yeah, so we've got this like this this, cap, this like cabinet door, and we've got the large door. So what I'm going to do is, obviously after I've painted this beak head, I'm going to make this door and make this little hatchway as well. And then when I've done that, I've also got a really good molding tool to show you as well. So I'm going to show you how I need to make a molding for the top that just sits slightly above the beak head as well. So I'm going to be doing that. So probably going to be quite a quite a long stream today. But what I'm going to have to do is at some point, once I've got to the stage where everything's painted and made, I'm going to have to just put, put you all on pause for a second or just put back to the logo picture. And then obviously I'm just going to swap my cameras around and then I'll come back because obviously I need a camera looking from this direction when I'm going to be working onto the uh, onto the, the beaker section. So let's have a quick look at the comments before we carry on. Obviously it's probably a bit difficult today to kind of read the comments because obviously with these lot, uh, HMS Victory build there's quite a lot to do and I've got to kind of concentrate a little bit more. So I'll just have a quick look at the comments and say hello to you all first and then I'm going to kind of get stuck into it. So I've got Pat. Hello, Pat. I've got Dave, Mike. Yeah, good afternoon to you as well. Chelsea Townsend. Happy Sunday to you as well, Chelsea. I've got Kitchen Table Models. Hello, mate. Yeah, I'm glad, glad you're back from obviously Wednesday stream and Friday stream. I've got Top Brewer, which is Craig. He's one of my uh, oldest friends. I've got Steve 131 on. Good evening, mate. I've got Paul. Uh, Scott Johnson. Hello, Scott. Yes, and then Top. And then I've got Mark Mods. Hello, Mark. I've not seen you on my uh, stream before, so it's nice to have you here. So, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to see. I'm going to start off by just loading up my little palette with some paints. So in today, I'm going to put you onto this uh, picture in picture. Okay, so I'm going to be using some French blue, and that's for the uh, the uh, the door and the little hinge. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of French blue it just into my little just a couple of drops. That's all we need. I'm going to need a little bit of matte white. So, just all these ones before, they're already dry. So, I'm just going to drop a little bit of matte white in. Like I say, it's a couple of drops. You are, yeah, I'm good, Craig. Are you? I've not seen you for a, well, a good six months, mate. We'll have to try and catch up as soon as we can. Just going to look a little bit of black. And a little bit of the very much talked about yellow ochre. Should it be yellow ochre or should it be this uh, pink salmon? Me personally, I think it should be yellow ochre. But that's for another discussion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. when you get back out, when you get out, Craig, let me know when we'll, we'll meet up, mate. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so I've just dropped a little bit of yellow ochre in. And I've just uh, shot myself with some paint. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start off by uh, painting this, uh, this this beaker. So if anybody's watched my uh, my video last time, this is a new uh, 3D printed part, and like I say, it's it's, um, it's so much more detailed. And like I said, this is why I kind of brought you on this forward facing camera because I wanted to show you the kind of detail that you can get compared to like I mean what the kit. So I'm just actually I'm just going to bring a part of the kit just so we can have a bit of comparison. So I'm just going to drop a few parts out. Okay, so the parts for the kit, for this top arch section, that's what we would have got. So I'm just going to put them together to compare them for you. Yeah, I think it says it all really. 
the legs were okay, were just slightly out of scale. Okay, so like I said, I've got to kind of crack on a bit today, so I'm just going to wear. Uh, so first of all, I want to do is I'm going to paint this, and this is that paint of this yellow ochre colour. But I want to kind of make it the first coat. I want to make it so I want to paint the next section. I can just make it stand down. So I'm just going to get a little bit of yellow, yellow ochre. Just a brush. I'm just going to take a little bit of this white, just a torch, and then let's mix these together. And just make it a slightly lighter tone. Probably need to make a bit more. And all that's done is just slightly reduced the uh, the colour between the two. You can't really see it too much, but like I said, that'll come a uh, come a little bit more into play when I do the next section. Okay, so I'm going to start off. So I've got this one cocktail tail stick, and I'm just going to remove that. Oh, I'm going to start to do yeah, these dots. We'll start to paint these sections in. So it's just the first coat. But all you got to kind of do is just try and make sure you get it from all the angles. Like I say, I could have, I could have uh, airbrushed this, but I, I know a lot of people don't have airbrushes, so I kind of wanted to. Uh, and I, like I say, I just think the traditional painting of the Victory should be hand, hand brushed for some reason. Okay, so I'm just going to keep moving along, try and be as quick as I possibly can with these sections. I've actually, uh, I've kind of done a little bit of Blue Peter and kind of pre-painted a few things already, so we can kind of like help us just kind of move along slightly. But when you're hand painting, one of the big things you want to do that obviously kind of happens to where uh, kind of hinders your hand, hand painting is you just don't want any of your paint to build up in any of these sections where they kind of like we've got like a little trough. We just don't want these paints to sit into there. So I'm just making sure I kind of go back and just making sure I'm just feathering the paint to take it out if it's welled up at all anywhere. And I'm just going to keep moving my way down. So as, how is everybody in any case? I hope you're all uh, kind of safe and well. If you watch me stream on, uh, on on Friday, it was kind of like a little bit of a long stream and I kind of, Debbie came up after I'd finished and says, oh, you can waffle, you can. So yeah, so I'm gonna try and keep it a little bit more, more actually building something rather than just me waffling on. So doing well, I'm bored big time. <laughs> It's because there's probably no football on for you, Craig. That's why you're bored. I'm sure there's not some kind of like local park uh, foot, football that you can go and watch at some point, mate, just so you can get a little bit of your football fix. Okay, so let's come up to this last section. Because this is a face plate, we don't have to worry about painting behind it at all. All we need to do is just make sure we kind of paint down all the edges. And that's just had the first coat. So I was going to put this onto my little bit of polystyrene, dust this to dry. Okay, so I'm just going to brush a little, a little clean. Oh, hello Neil. So I'll put you onto face cam a second. Yeah, so I've just kind of painted the first section, so I'm just gonna leave that to dry. And I've just noticed that Neil's uh, Neil's coming to uh, chat today. So Neil's actually the the guy who's developed this uh, all these 3D printed parts. So if anybody's got any questions for Neil, which is Neil's Neil Woods, he's uh, he's on chat. So if anybody wants to ask him anything about the uh, the parts, okay. So I'm just gonna clear up my area just a touch. So I'm about 13 minutes into the stream, so yeah, so I thought that's why I said to everybody, it's gonna, it's probably gonna be a long stream, but I'm hopefully I can kind of just uh, crack on and try and do as best I can. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you, I've already made some doors. I've already made a door and I've kind of pre-primed it ready, so I can kind of move on to the next stage.
quite quickly, but I'm just going to show you how, how I did this process. And we've got two doors, even though I've only got half of the picture, we've got another two, another door and another like a hinge door, this section as well. So I'm just going to show you how I did that. Okay, so I'm going to bring across a little piece of this, this one. This is just six by, uh, well, as long as it works, it's a six by one mil. And all it is, all I've done is just, I've used a I mean, scour. Sorry about that. All I've done is just use a, use a ruler and I've just measured off two mil intervals and I've just scoured it down just to kind of give it a bit more look of wood. So that's all I've done for that section. So now I just need to cut the, uh, the door to length. I measured it earlier, it's around about 20 mil. So I'm just going to get my, uh, my pencil. I'm just going to put a few marks. Using a cutting mat, there's a gauge for 20 mil, so each square is 10 millimeters. So I'm just using that as a cutting gauge. I'm just going to hold it, hold it with my finger, just using my knife. Well, like I say, I can, I have got this cutting block, but what I've found is, is that gap there is very sloppy. So sometimes you can kind of stray off a little bit. So I tend to, if it's just a straight, simple straight cut, I kind of just line up two lines, put my blade across the two pencil marks, and then just keep rocking backwards and forwards. And then you get a nice, nice straight cut. So I'm just going to put the two doors together to compare them. That one's a little, that one's a little bit long, so I'm just actually, I think I'm actually cut it at 18. So I'll just I'll come back to mill. I kind of, kind of good at judging little distances. Let's take off another couple of mil. All we do is just sand the edge. Okay, so we've got these hinges to uh, to uh, I know we've got like these got these long hinges here as well. And we've got two on this door, and obviously the ones we get with the kit are, are really really too long. But just to serve the purpose for today's build. I'm going to be I'm going to be using these, but I've actually let me just take these take these gloves off a second. I can't finish. So I've painted again. I was going to show you this little hinge I made. So all I've done is cut it down and then just bent over the uh, the side to kind of make it look like we've got a little bit of a, a hinge section. I know it's really hard for you to see that, but hopefully you can kind of see. So what I'm going to do I'm just going to show you this, this process now. So these are the parts that we get with the kit and they're slightly a little bit longer you know, because obviously we've got different kind of hinges that we work from so so i'm just going to take these these nail scissors so maybe if you look at your nail scissors that's where they are because really ideally you need some slightly slightly good tin snips but i've not got any i've got some massive tin snips but that's way too big so what i'm going to do is going to snip off this little bit of play that we've got and for the door, we just needed to we got these we got three holes. So I think when I cut these, I cut these and just left two holes. So I'm just what I'm going to do is just measure back two holes, and just come about two mil to the right of that, and just snip it off. And it's just as easy as that. Okay, so I'm going to get me uh, needle and those pliers wherever I've put them here. So I'm going to get my knee in those pliers. And where we've got this, this little hole there, I'm just going to put my pliers right on that hole. Hold it like that, and then just bend it. And all that's done is just turn it 90 degrees. So now I'm just going to hold this back slightly angled so I can pinch this. I'm just going to pinch it. And that's just, that's just close that gap together. So now I'm going to put it back into the jaws, leaving just about a mil sticking up. Okay, so I mean, you're going to get a little bit of camera shake because it's just it's because obviously this section is joined to the uh, table. So what I'm going to do is just hold that at an angle. But I'm just put the tips of the uh, pliers on. Just keep saying. Well, all I'm going to do is just flatten off the hinge slightly. And all that's done. It's just, let me bring it in really close for you. You just give us a just a slight hinge. And all that's doing really, put it back up to face cam. 
and all that's doing really is just, just you know what I mean just making it look a little bit more interesting it's not as accurate as it possibly could be but if you stand it, I mean most people look at your models from a distance in any case so just seeing these little subtle distances and little just extra, uh, extra detail just makes your model stand out from everybody else's okay so I'm gonna put you back in picture in picture yeah, that's a new scissors, Debbie. They're no good for cutting toes, so toenails are probably good for cutting cutting feet. So I'm just going to put these two parts side by side each other. All I'm going to do that for is just so I can just measure. Just make sure I get the hinges right. So I'm just going to come across with a pencil. Just put a little mark. Just so I know where the hinges. And also we've got a left hand hinge and a right hand hinge. So obviously if I put them side beside each other, I know I'll kind of like... Uh, glue the hinges in the right place. Yeah, so in fact I need to just change that around slightly. Okay, so I've got a little bit of super glue. Just looking for my, uh, all I've got in today's pin push, I've got just a little bit of one mil of brass wire, just so I can get really fine. And I've got some, uh, some super glue and all I've done here is just stuck it down with a bit of blue tack so obviously because I notice when the blue tack starts to uh, starts to kind of go off you tend to like lift it up so I'll just leave a little bit in there and all I'm going to do is just run a little touch just across where I put that pencil line and then just taking my first little hinge trying to get my big sausage hands out of the way you can see that's not very level, is it? Yeah, it's not ideal. Okay. Now let's try again. A little bit more glue. I'll probably grab it with me. Uh, let's grab it with me tweezers this time. See if I can get it on that better that way. This is the, uh, the tricky moment. I've actually got some 60 second glue and I should have probably used that. Or you can like, lay on the, 60, the glue and then you've got 60 seconds to adjust it before you stick. But that one's uh, it's finally stuck on. And like I say, we just got where we turn this hinge over, we've just got a little bit sticking out. This is like I say, that's going to add a little bit more interest to the, to the model. I'm just now we're just going to go to the next one down. I'm just going to actually put it side by side just to make sure I get it on the right line. Put a little bit of glue across. Let's pop the second one on. Let's adjust it just so it's kind of got a little bit of time. The trouble is, I say I've used the wrong super glue. I should have used the. Uh, the 60 second one, so I've got a little bit of time to adjust it, so you have to kind of like probably break it off just to adjust it. But that's okay for this purpose. And what I do now is just, I'll just take a, a little dowel, a little bit of blue tack on the end, and I just stick that on there. And like I did with this one, I just put a little coat primer on it. Okay, so like a little bit like. Uh, yeah, so like a little bit like a blue Peter, I've just kind of made a few things a little bit like at the stages next, so I can kind of like uh, try and make the videos uh, flow a little bit nicer. So, okay, so I'm just going over to the uh, the little painting there uh, easel again. I'm just using, so I say, I'm using a little bit of this French blue, and all of, like I say, because we've used primer on these hinges. It'll take because if you don't prime them, obviously them brass parts, and they take a little bit of, little bit of painting. So it's like I say, same again. All I'm gonna do is just kind of coming down in the same, same direction as the wood. And I'm just gonna paint it from all sides. You'd probably have to go over this again and give it a second coat, and that's why I kind of did a few stages in front of myself, just so we can kind of make good progress like I say all you want to do is just make sure your paint's not welling up just around these edges 
where you fit in these these little hinges. And like I said, I'm just going to put that one to one side to dry. Okay, just give me give me brush a little clean. Oh, uh, yeah, thank you, Steve. I've got Fleetwood Fleetwood J on as well. I, I think you I think I've seen your channel before, Fleetwood J. I think you built you built the Root Master. <laughs> thank you, uh, thank you, Neil. Yeah, so like I say, I've done that process. I'm gonna my list. This list has fell off somewhere, so yeah, that's all good. So I'm gonna actually let's see what I'm doing next. Oh yeah. Okay, so here's one. So here's one I painted. I painted this yesterday, so that's all nice and dry. But what I want to show you now, because it's very uh, it's like very dark blue and it's hard to see the detail. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of this, this dry me brush. All I'm going to do is just take a little bit of this this blue, drop it into there. Let's take a little touch of this white. Just mix them together. Get them there, uh, they'll swell out. Just get this a little clean. I need, uh, I need something so I can bash my uh, paintbrushes like, like Bob used to do. <laughs> okay, so I'm going on to me, uh, on to this next section. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get this slightly larger brush. And I've just inherited this off Debbie because what Debbie does is normally when she's when she's kind of worn her brushes out, she tends to just give them to me. So, but what I want to do is I'm gonna drop it into this this paint we've just made off, and I'm just gonna take quite a quite a bit of it off. So all I'm gonna do is just brush it. So I'm just leaving a little touch on the paint. And all I'm going to do is when I find my part again, is I'm just going to drag it across very gently. And all that's going to do is just slightly highlight just some hinges slightly more. It's, I mean, it's only a, just a, a slight, a slight, you know, what I mean, difference in the blue. It's not as strong. And like I say, it's all it's going to do is leave the the darker parts, like the little holes and hinges. And obviously the edges will be dark. It's just going to reduce the uh, overall darkness of the face. And that's that one done. Okay, clean off. Okay, so I'm just having a look, quick look at comments. Like I say, I don't want me to be uh, kind of rude. That I'm obviously not reading all your comments. So I'll come back a bit later on and I'll go back through them all again. But like I say, I want to try and uh, make this a little bit more so people can actually watch what I'm doing rather than listen to me just let me give my opinions. So I've got to put you back on picture in picture. Okay, so I think, yeah, I'm okay for a second. Okay, so above victory, we get this top trim. And that's, I mean, if you don't add this on in the kit, it doesn't tell you to add this on, but you, you want to really. So, because like I say, once you've got this part, once this part fitted, then to get this trim above it, it's gonna just look 100 times better. So, okay, so I was gonna put this back over there. So I've got this new tool, and this is a, I mean, this is an amazing tool. And this is by the same guy This is by the same guy who made all these uh, all these 3D parts as well. And if you come, I don't know if anybody's ever seen one of my older videos. I used to make all my mouldings with my uh, like little uh, little ruler, and all I did is kind of carve these deep mold carve. I actually just like cut these details and the mouldings into this uh, into this, this ruler. But it's very crude. It's very crude uh, construction, but it served a purpose. But like Neil, when I met Neil from obviously Woody's Model Works. Brought this, brought this down, and what he's done is, is spent such a lot of time and research 
and he's found old mouldings that kind of be used on obviously the whole way through this uh, this beautiful battleship. And so like instead of like as as I had to like every time I, I got to a moulding I needed to use, I had to cut one. He's got this like this kit now that's actually I mean you can tell it's got all the sizes are written on it as well. It's obviously two it's like obviously two point two and one point five. And then you go around. So obviously for this part of this build I I just need to use a two by two one. So you just look around the model. So you just look, look around the uh, the moulding scriber and you just find the two by two and that's in this corner. So what I'm gonna do is gonna get a piece of just standard stock two by two. And all you're going to do is you're just going to put your your molding scraper. If that's slightly, that's a large one. That's two two point five. So yeah, so I'm going to get my two two mil by two mil. I'm just going to put it on. And what I'm going to do, so obviously I'm left-handed, so it's it's you, you do this different. But all you do is put it into the section, and you start to just drag it along, and you keep dragging along, dragging along. Like I said, this is not the. Uh, let me put you back onto uh, face cam. This is not the greatest, greatest wood that we get in the kit. I mean, ideally, you you want some like a uh, box wood or something like that. But obviously, I'm just a minute for this. Like I said, I've told people before. For me, this victory is all about a practice build. Once this is done, I'll go on to build something else. So I don't really want to spend any more money on on the expensive wood. So it's on a practice kit. But even we're using the wood from the kit, like I say, it's very. And what the trouble is, it's, it gets very rough. But you can already you can see with these uh, with these passes how it's starting to just you know, put this moulding on to this uh, this piece of wood. Like I say, just what well, we've been doing that for about two minutes, and that's just made this uh, top molding. So I've just spent, like I say, a bit of blue peter. I spent a bit more time on one earlier. Just obviously this one I spent a lot more time, and this was sanded down, and that's what you get. And you kind of, if you compare them, they're obviously in the, on the kit where they show you just on the kit they to tell you just to add this detail just as a 2v2 chunk of wood. So that's just gonna look so much more interesting. And what's Neil's, like I say, what Neil's told me as well, he gets a, if grab this, he's gonna supply you with a, a little PDF and he's gone into all the, he's uh, gives you a little bit of an instruction manual and he goes into all the, uh, the details and all the different moldings, like I say, he's highlighted all the different moldings where to use these scrapers from all around Victory. And he spent a lot of time, and like I say, and like I say, I'm, I've, I mean, I've, I've only met Neil once, he's a great guy, and uh, I'm not, I mean, I'm not getting paid for any of this, but and I wouldn't recommend anything to people who watch my channel, unless I thought, you know, I mean, they're gonna benefit people, and uh, you know, I mean, really help people out in making these amazing ships, and just making these ships even better, like, so. Yeah, so like I say, if you want to order one of them, I think he's selling, he's selling them quite fast. Yeah, just click on this website, uh, just in the bottom. But I just want to say, if you're actually a member, if a patron of mine, don't order one, because I've actually ordered some of them myself. I'm going to order some of them myself off Neil. I'm going to give my patrons them as a bit of a Christmas gift because I'm not impressed with them. Like so, okay, back to where uh, picture in picture. Okay, so it's brought off a little bit of a little bit of water. I'm just gonna get a little bit of this there, uh, just this kitchen towel. What I'm gonna do? A few sprays. And just clean my work area because this dust. I mean, it's it's not great for you. So I like to try and always keep my uh, area dust free. And all I've done is just wet in the kitchen towel. I'll just clean the area. Hello Hugo, nice to have you back on mate. Okay, so I've done that, so yeah, so I'm gonna get that one I've just had. That's this one, and all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring my paints back across, find my brush, 
And I'm just going to just paint this in. working back towards my fingers. Like I say, you could probably see the detail start to stand out a little bit more as we bring it back to the uh, back to the end. And just that's, that's that top moulding made and painted. Okay, so watch me brush again. I'm actually not doing too bad. I'm in 35 minutes and I'm actually making quite good progress. Okay, so two seconds, everybody. Okay, so I don't want to sound like I'm some kind of like salesman because that's never what I wanted to do for my, uh, my channel at all. But obviously I've got this cup and I get a lot of people ask me where can they get this cup from. And you can't at the minute because this is just a one-off that Debbie ordered me for Christmas. So let's have a quick drink. But in the future, I'm going to be looking probably to order some of these uh, these cups and obviously people can buy them. Because they say, I get quite a lot of people saying, oh, John, where can we get your cup from? Okay, so just on that stage, and now I'm going to bring back across this uh, this first section of the beaker, and then we've obviously painted that when we first started the stream. So now I'm going to take my little of one of my brushes, but then this time we're going to go straight into the. Uh, let me put you back onto picture in picture, so that you can see. So yeah, so this time let me just remove that one second. Okay, so yeah, so this time, like I say, so a bit of duller behind, so this time we can just go in with a larger brush. Let's get a bit tighter. And I'm just going to put over this darker. Can you start to see it's darkening it all? I'm just going to paint down this section. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to fill in the, that middle rim, that middle run. I'm just going to drag the brush to sort these sections just like that. Can you see that okay? When all that's done is, can you see how I like it? You can slightly, that was lighter behind. And all that's going to do is just going to add slightly a little bit of depth to your, to your work. Like I say, it's all about trying to, you know I mean, create create scale and kind of add a little bit of scale into something that you that you're working with because if I painted it all just a full color that central column just wouldn't be quite as visible you know, so you just want to make things stand out slightly <laughs> i'm gonna do an amazon store <laughs> yeah yeah maybe steve maybe one day maybe Okay, so I'm just going to kind of just carry on painting this uh, this beak head in. Like I said, I'll try to be as uh, quick as I possibly can. I'm also try and make it interesting that you're going to kind of keep on watching. If there's anybody out, like I say, I know, I know a few people are building this uh, HMS Victory. But how many people have actually... Uh, Built it exactly to the to the kit and not slightly changed it a touch. So what I did notice the other day is obviously uh, the Model Space website had used one of my pictures on their on their website. But the trouble is, because I've modded mine so much, the picture that was shown was not would look nothing like how it uh, it be if you completely built their kit to the to the standard that they send. So yeah, you know, so I thought it was maybe a little bit misleading. That's what people buy. Look at this. Uh, Look at this, my build on their website, thinking, oh, I'll buy this kit, and it's going to look like this. Well, if you do, it's going to look nothing how I did the gallery. Like I say, I'm just going to fill in these, these columns. Like I say, just trying to go as quick as I possibly can. Yeah, well, it's, it's kind of one there, like, uh, I think, I 
I think I, I put a picture on one of their sites once, so I didn't, you know, they didn't ask me if they could use it. But, but I suppose they probably think it's a bit of fair use, and I'd kind of put it in a comment on one of their uh, on their posts once by time. So they probably thought, well, obviously, as he's commented with a picture, then we can use that picture. So that must uh, must work. But I don't mind because, like I say, any anything where obviously my name's mentioned and you know, what I mean? it kind of it helps me. It helps me. I just didn't want it to kind of mislead, mislead anybody. Okay, so I'm just working my way to the uh, last couple of them. Let's fill in in these columns. And then that's all I'm going to do is just make sure I kind of go down the edges. I'm just going to see if I miss any parts. But after we've painted all this section, we should be looking something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna put this to one side for a second. Let's clean the brush in a minute. Okay, so I'm kind of see where I am now. So I've painted them, painted a couple of them, made that door. Yeah, so I think we're pretty much uh, I've pretty much got everything done that I kind of wanted to do in this first section. Okay, so I'm just going to have a look through the comments a minute, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you back onto the logo uh, section where the uh, the count is timing down. Quickly move the camera from this forward-facing camera to a side-facing camera, so you can see me adding the, the parts of the beak head. Because that's the trouble with this HMS Switch build, you need cameras from all different angles, so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So I'll just have a quick look through if I, uh, if I miss any kind of direct questions to me. Like I say, it's nice that I said to Debbie when I finished the stream on the. Uh, on Friday, it's nice that kind of people can kind of you know I mean answer each other's questions as well. We're out, obviously, uh, we're, we're me missing some questions, so I'm just going to scroll up and see if I've missed any any ones that like direct one. Now it looks like pretty much everybody's kind of answered most people's uh, questions. So like I say, I'm just going to you know say don't go anywhere. I'm just going to put you onto this logo camera for a few seconds. Slightly move my cameras round and we'll be back in about two minutes. Okay, so I'm I'm back. So I'm just going to try this side side camera to make sure it kind of works. 
Oh, it's, a, it's upside down. One second. <laughs> okay, we'll turn it. We'll uh, try that again, see if it's working this time. Oh, yeah, and one working. That's uh, very professional. But yeah, I kind of I got needed to be on this side camera because, like I say, you need like a camera facing this way if you're going to be working on the, on the on the top section. But I needed the camera setting up so and you can kind of see this uh, this beak head. So, and like I say, if you join me in the, the end of last week's video, so I keep saying last week's, so normally I uh, normally have a, like a week between videos, but I needed to put yesterday's video out yesterday so I could do the live stream today. Yeah, so I've finished off all this beak head and I've kind of painted this uh, this roundhouse. I know it looks a little bit blue, it looks quite dark on this picture, but I daren't mess with anything because I don't want to uh, I don't, I don't want to lose this dream. So pretty much that's where we are at the minute. So I'm going to bring across this uh, this beak head, and like I said the good thing about these uh, let me just put you back on face cam. Okay, so the good thing about using these acrylic paints is they're pretty much uh, you normally dry in uh, half an hour. So, I mean, it's not 100% dry. It's not very dry as I'd like it to be, but it's uh, dry enough for me to carry on. Okay, so now I'm going to just take this off the cocktail stick. Okay, so now, if you can see before, is I say, I, I cut all these to length in last week's video. So I'm just going to drop this into these section there and then just look, just look how that transforms that straight away without even having to apply any glue or anything it's just it, yeah it's just amazing I'm so happy with these I'm so happy I really I'm happy with these Neil they're just, they're just really going to change how people start um, Put you back on face, face cam. Yeah, they're really going to start ch changing the way people make these kits because the level of detail is it's you know, it's, it's second to none. And like I say, you can you can probably have to be one of the most amazing, steady handed craftsmen out there. I mean, I'm not saying people can't do that, I'm sure there's hundreds of people that can make that. I'm not skilled enough to make them as good as that as you would do in a 3D printed kit. So, okay, so put you back on there, picture in picture. So now, what I'm going to do is uh, take a, just a little bit of this is this is wood glue. Put it back on forward facing cam. Forward facing cam. I'm just going to use a little bit of wood glue. And the only reason is is I kind of want to come back and probably may just have to adjust these slightly. So I'm just going to just attach them just with a little bit of PVA glue that then I can pick back off rather than attach them super glue so then they're permanently fixed. Okay, so I'm just going to apply a little bit of, little bit of glue. It's probably best to watch me in a little picture-in-picture -picture camera at the minute. I'm just going to apply just a little touch, little dobs of glue, just so I can pick it off after. But just have enough hold that I can show you all. And that's just looks like that. Okay, so we've got a little bit of, like I say, a bit of Blue Peter moment. And here's one I prepared earlier. And this is one of the, uh, this is one of the, the little round house sections. I've not really showed you that much today. Back up. And that's the little, that's a little round house section. So same again, I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue. Just to the back of these round houses. And then I'm just going to drop that just on this one. Like I say, I'm probably going to have to come back and it obviously put it back a face cam. Like I say, I'm going to probably come back and you know I mean, re, uh, just readjust this. But I just want to just do enough that I can kind of show you all exactly how it's going to look and how it's going to be finished without obviously saying, oh, you'll have to wait till next time. And that's that one. Okay, I've got the other roundhouse, but that's still at the uh, 
the primer stage so like I said I don't want to bore you all anymore by keep painting the same things over and over again so that'll be uh, added later so you won't get the full full effect well, like I say now I'm just going to take this this one we painted earlier and I'm just going to in fact I'm just going to put you on face cam a second yeah. In fact, this one just needs a slight another coat of paint. But I've got another door that I can add that to as well. So I'm trying to find a paintbrush that I've not used. Yeah, like I say, in, in, the, in future, uh, future streams, I'm going to get myself a little bit more set up with a few more, few more cameras. So I'm going to get myself eventually get myself a little stream deck where you can see pictures on it as well, and I can just you know, I mean, select that and pick the cameras that way. And I'm also kind of do, going to do something with this cutting mat as well because I never use this. I've got all this space going this way, and I don't I don't use it at all. So I'm probably thinking I could probably like I'm going to cut and paint. I could work it on here and then just switch over to this view from working on the larger section of the uh, the big tree. All that needed because that's only had one coat. I'm just going to another another coat a second let's pop that back in the middle polystyrene get a little wash so what we're doing for time well it's only been 50 minutes i'm actually not doing too bad say i'm in a i've been doing all this i thought it might take me hours okay so i'm going to move that out of the way and then we bring across this little trap door oh, so this is the trap door that we uh, made a second ago and that's just that trap door there and that's just going to sit on that section there just well see where the first uh, half round of this uh, beacon is we've got like a half arch and then we get like the first section where this little trapdoor fits so I'm just going to this like I say these can kind of be st stuck in permanently so I'm just going to add a bit of glue to the back of this one and then that can be fitted directly just there, just like that. Okay, so can you see? Let me see if I can bring you in closer. Let me bring you around. And if that's where this, uh, let's put that fitted that bottom trap door. Okay, so that's pretty much. All I can uh, I can kind of do for today. I'll put you back onto face, onto face cam. Wait, actually, this top trim is going to be dry. I think, yeah. So I'll put you back on face cam. So actually, actually this uh, this top trim is nice and dry that we uh, I made a second ago. So I can actually glue and add this. So I can just show you that as well. Okay, so I'm just, like I said, I'm just going to get a little bit. Of, this uh, this super glue. I'm just gonna add a little bit to the back of this trim. I'm just gonna bring it across, and then this trim is gonna fit slightly above the other one. Oops. I guess that's PVA. Fit that one. This is super glue. And that top trim is going to fit all the way across there. Let's put a little bit more super glue around this section. And just a little bit behind this section. It's slightly long, it's overhanging each side, right around about a mil. But that's okay, because like I say, we've got some more parts to uh, add later on. We've got obviously the cat heads, we've got obviously the big, uh, I can't think of the quite name for them now, obviously larger, larger mouldings here that kind of come down and wrap awards round towards the bow. So I'm just going to put this back on. Just so you can kind of get a little bit of dramatic effect. And that's pretty much about 70% complete. 
all I've got left to do is obviously like I say I'm just going to carry on pretty much all I'll say all I've got left to do is pretty much carry on with the same technique I've got obviously just to add these doors when they've been painted and weathered just got to paint this over round house stick that on and that's pretty much all the beakheads all the beakers complete so like I say I'm uh, so happy that oh, so I'm showing the only thing that's different is for the kit also this top this top capping that actually in real life that should sit over this trim but because we don't have the trim in the uh, in the in the idea of kit like I say for, if, if you're going to build this yourself if you're building the Diagostini kit, I'd kind of, I would add all this beaker first and then I'd add all the cappings because it's kind of a little bit wrong way around because if I'd have done that from the start off and added all this beaker, then I know I could have slightly adjusted this capping and sat it over the beakheads. So, okay, so pretty much that's, uh, oh, let me have, a, let me have one, one last look. Bring it in really close. Let's get some close up victory cam. Bring you in really, really close. And how good does that look, everybody? I think it looks perfect. No, I'll, I'll sort him out later. Okay, so so how good does that look, everybody? I think it looks absolutely perfect. I think it's. I mean, it, it looks hundred times better. I would have done if we'd have kind of gone down the. Uh, the route with the uh, kit. So as I say, I can't thank Neil enough for saying he's, he's making some of these parts that you'd think I'd be interested in uh, using on the Victory build. So like I say, now I've pretty much uh, done everything that's uh, obviously building for today. I've actually done a lot better than I thought. I've only been an hour. So I, uh, yeah, I'm kind of really pleased with that. I'm kind of managed to get that done in an hour. And like I say, there's a, if you remember in my Facebook group as well, I'll put some com more pictures when I completely finish off all the, uh, all the uh, round houses and it's completely finished with all the extra doors on and when I obviously when I release this and I'll change the thumbnail over and I'll put a complete picture on the thumbnail of it all there all complete yeah it is Dave he's coming along nicely and Steve yeah, Coolio thank you mate okay yes yeah, see if we've got a couple of minutes of time so yeah we'll do Neil better a salesman Neil is <laughs> Okay, so Neil, I'm going to actually do these in a separate video, but see as Neil's, Neil's mentioned it, he's actually doing this, uh, this, this uh, stern kit. Like I mean, I've already, I've already passed this stage of using the stern kit, so there's something that I can't. There's something that I can't use, but what I can use is, and I'm going to use all these, is I'm going to use all this. All this flip, let me put you up on side camera. Yeah, is I'm going to use all this section because there's no way you can make something like that with that kind of detail for that scale and, uh, and use it. Yeah, so like I say, I've added some of these. I've all, the, all these moldings I've already uh, I've already made on mine, but I'm definitely going to be uh, using these. And like I say, that's probably going to be I say next week's video that I'm actually going to add all these into my. Uh, into my gallery section and finish that off. So like I say, so but actually he sells this as a complete kit. So I'll put it back on face camera. It actually it actually comes as you can you can buy it as two parts, I think is that Neil. Like I say, Neil's on, so he'll ask you some you can ask him questions, but he sells this and this is a complete more to scale gallery and quarter gallery section. And these are more I mean these are hundred percent accurate compared to the ones we get in the kit like I said when I've kind of started to look at some of the parts he supplied for me because I kind of built mine and modified mine to, to my own uh, specification some of the parts don't fit but like I said Neil said yeah just let me know exactly what you need and he's going to send me a set out but one of the best things about this kit that obviously I didn't I didn't get with mine is you get this photo edge window set so as you're building it first you're going to kind of cut these out and then you're going to stick these over this uh, this wooden section as well and that's just going to add so much more depth okay steve sorry about that mate i'll see you again soon i'll say i'm going to be uh, live streaming wednesday for the spitfire as well so i'm going to put you back on this section and that just looks so much better to see these 
you know what I mean? These like these winds are actually set back and they're obviously in photo edge rather than the ones we get with the kit. Yeah, like I say, so if you're interested in uh interested in this full set, obviously like I say I'll, I'll put you the uh put you the link on, just you just click on this website and it, it is also developing other parts as well that going down the line I'm gonna be using Okay, so I just lost my uh, side camera, so that's quite good timing. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't like I say I don't really trust these wireless cameras, but at the minute they're just kind of serving a purpose, and I'm kind of getting through these streams where I use them. But eventually, I want to be fully hardwired and all my cameras hardwired straight into the PC, so then I can you know directly uh, directly use them a lot better, and I'll have a lot less fear thinking that I'll be halfway through my stream and all of a sudden I lose my uh, camera because I know my forward-facing camera's fine. It's a it's a uh, what's it called yeah c920 and that's fine it's hardwired straight into the pc but it says you can only actually use probably around about two uh two cameras on a stream but i'm only actually using eight percent of my uh, cpu so i know i could probably get away with about three or four more uh, three or four more cameras and i'll be fine okay so like i say we'll get in about an hour we'll probably have about five minutes of just chatting with yourself so if you've all got any questions then i'll pretty much be ending the stream because it's five o'clock and i'll be taking me uh my son home to uh back to his mum's in half an hour so if anybody's got any questions i can kind of just answer them before we go off i'm just gonna have another little uh little drink of my tea Kind of, I was going to quick look through, see any one questions I missed. No, so pretty much no more questions. So I'm pretty much going to be, uh, I'm going to be, uh, <laughs> yeah, enjoy you. Yeah, cheers, mate. Yeah, pretty much going to be wrapping up in a second. Like I said, this week, I've, I've actually got a full, uh, a full uh, week uh, yeah <laughs> if you come on a bit early uh, Hugo I mentioned about the cups and eventually I'm not going to need uh, to sell yet I've, these are just one of a kind but eventually I will uh, get some mugs out there if people want them yeah so this week I would say I'm at, I'm at work all week this week I've, like I say I've told you before I'm self-employed but I'm gonna, I've got a full week of work this week so Wednesday night is going to be a live stream Spitfire Hopefully it is if I go to the, uh, the news agents and they have the Spitfire there. But if not, I'll probably just turn it into uh, into, a, into another Millennium Falcon build. And then hopefully Friday night again, I'm going to do a live stream building Millennium Falcon. Because like I said, I want to try and get this Falcon built and finished and ready for, for paint for the new year. And like I said, I know people, people like the uh, Battleship um, Yamato. Like I said before, excuse me, uh, that's going to be going to be uh, carried on with but that's probably going to be in the new year once I kind of get a collection of parts all together that I'm kind of happy that I've got enough parts of the superstructure and I can put them all together so that's pretty much it then so I like I say I hope you really enjoyed the stream I think I've done okay because I was kind of like worried about this stream because I knew it'd be quite difficult because it's actually rather than just like screw driving things together which you do normally with the Millennium Falcon build and the Spitfire build, I mean, it was actually quite, it was actually making things and gluing things together and painting things. That's always slightly a little bit more tricky in a stream than obviously just like, obviously adding a few screws. But like I say, I think I did okay. So I hope, you'd, I hope you you do yourself. So. Before I go, if, you, if you've not always subscribed to my channel, if you're watching this for the first time and you're interested in my channel, there's going to be more and more live builds as I go forward. Because like I say, I'm really enjoying this and it's actually the live builds is actually motivating me and get me a little bit more motivated in actually carrying on making the uh, the victory again. Because like I say, sometimes I don't actually don't actually just kind of like sat here just like building. I like I like the I like the company. I like the you know what I mean the reading people's comments and, and stuff like that. I like. So yeah, so going forward, it's going to be a lot more of that. So so anyway, I want to say uh, oh yeah, sorry before you go. If you, even if you've watched the video and watched the live stream, if you just still give me a like. And even if you commented in the live stream as well, if you still leave me a comment in the comments after, that really helps me as well. Because like I say, it kind of uh, it kind of helps push my videos out there. And if you want to share my videos in any groups that you're in as well, if you think it's good enough and other people that you know might want to see the videos, if you can do that, just push the, uh, the uh, share button. That's absolutely great. So anyway, take care everybody and I'll see you all next time.